Look at the state of my hair. You know it's cycling time when you've got dates in your smoothie. Seriously, the the weather <laughs> the weather forecast earlier in the week told me it was going to be a lovely ten degree day, and now it's saying it's zero and a minus eight degree real feel. What the heck is going on? I guess I've got no choice but to get out on the bike. What else am I going to do? Sit around filming myself talking all day? Right. Please ignore this stuff. I'm sending back slash birthday presents. I shall take, uh, what's that? Yeah, I'll take you. And new gloves. And thermal top. And short shorts. I'll take you. Where's my turtle helmet hat? There you are. Oh, I think that's everything. Okay. Oh no, the drawer's gone funny. No, oh, fixed it. When I return, I shall be a cyclist. Hello. Bye, Mads. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Just here in an old bus stop. Uh, quite a busy road. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so you know how I said I thought that I hadn't quite taken the right road to go up the big hill up to Devil's Dyke. Well, I was quite right. From Brighton, it's quite an easy one, but from the other side of the hills on the South Downs, it is crazy. It is a huge descent. It's not, not the steepest, there's one part that was very steep and it was wet and there was a car behind me and I was going around a corner and I was panicking a bit despite having spent about two months in the hills and the mountains in Thailand and Bali. I'm still not the best at going downhill. Hopefully I'm still quite good at going uphill because I'm gonna need it, it's a long way back. I'll try and show you how far it is from here. So I'm just here, here's Mr. Bike. A little copse of trees up there. I think you can see that hill over there. I've got to go, I think, to the top of that, possibly further along the other side. It doesn't look that big from here, but trust me, it is. Unfortunately, the SD card and the GoPro, I think, isn't quite fast enough to record stuff. It kept messing up, saying the files were corrupted. I turn it on, and two seconds later, it would beep to say it was turning off again. The one in this one's a micro SD card, too, so I'll take it out, pop it in, and see you back at the top of Devil's Dyke. I love the wide angle lens on this. I wish you could get that on a normal point and shoot camera. I think I'm gonna go up this way and see what's what. I'm not sure where the microphone is, so I hope my hand isn't on it. So cute. They just huddle together sunbathing. There he goes. <laughs> oh, bye bye, ladies.
Ah, I'll rest here for a bit, then I'll go back. Some of these illustrations are hilarious. I thought that said something else at first. And here we have the South Downs stalker. My friend said he used to live on the edge of the Hundred Acre Wood once. Really ought to go there with Maddie one time. It's a happy little bush it lives, right there. Hi everybody! Oh, that smells good. That's getting steamy. It's so foggy you can't... <laughs> you are like got an aura around you. Ah, just in time. It's not just in time, I reheated it. Just in time. We're getting up two extra ones. <gasps> Thanks, baby. Are you tired? I really want to nap as well. But we No, because we both have things to do. I've got to clean the house, you've got to edit. Two bowls of pasta still wasn't enough. What's more? I ate all the pasta. It's all gone? Yep. Some brownies. I want, I want brownies for later. Apple crumble is like a whole bloody thing. Ah, uh, what about crisps? Or crisps. Or maybe I should be sensible. Hmm? Tell you what, I'll have a shower and see if I'm hungry afterwards. Maybe that's the sensible option, eh? Much as I would just like to get straight into bed and have a nap. I've got to edit. So I may well just, uh... oh, that's nice. Nice warm radiator. I think I'll just shower, edit, and I'll be back later. I don't know why I keep saying, oh, I'll be back later. Oh, I'll see you, see you in a bit. Like, it'll be like the next scene. It'll be two seconds in real time. I just feel like I have to keep saying it because it's five hours in real life. Jacket potato in the microwave before cooking it in the oven. Because you guys, the other week, one of you, and loads of you up, thumbs up saying, Maddie, don't say you look gross because you shouldn't say that. You should say that you look nice or you shouldn't criticize yourself. Today is the day I'm gonna say, I look cute right now. I look great. I think I look beautiful and I look lovely. And I encourage you guys to say the same. Go look at yourself in the mirror and say, I look beautiful, I am beautiful, inside and out. And yeah, I just think if you're feeling it, if you're feeling like that, then embrace it. Hey, like, it doesn't make you full of yourself. And if anything, I have read something recently with a girl, oh, it was Oprah Winfrey. It was a quote from her and she was talking about how people would tell her she's full of herself. And she said, I'm pleased to be full of myself because I'm full of so much to give to other people. And why is that a negative thing? So yeah, just thought I'd say that. So I just said to Alex, like, I look cute, take a picture of me. <laughs> you look cute too. Do I really? Yeah, you do. Oh. Look at this. Yum look at this. Yum <laughs> yum. All right, what game shall we play? Star Wars. Would you like to see my game library? We've got Fallout, 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 Far Cry 4. I'm looking forward to the new one. Mass Effect, which I haven't played. Forza Forza FIFA, Minecraft, Peggle. That's actually a great game. Well, what? Did you just buy these and then put them in the crisp box? You did, didn't you? I bought them a while ago. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, Star Wars Battlefront is good, but it has no campaign mode, which is annoying. And Sunset Overdrive, which I think is an Xbox exclusive. It came with the Xbox, but it's actually really, really fun. Maddie, what do you want to do? Do you want to watch something? Oh, you're not bothered. Dee -dee -dee, dee -dee -dee -dee. Let's go on Netflix. I'm curious, who out there actually pays for a Netflix subscription? Everyone I know has it off someone else or a friend of a friend, as you can see by these five profiles. The meme? I think I know what you're referring to. Uh, what are you, we're on yours. Miss Meowdlin. Black Mirror. We are, we are breezing through friends. Good evening, everybody. I'm here on bed, feeling quite tired, but I just wanted to show you this. Now you may remember, ah, Maddie got me a lamp, not a lamp, she got me a desk light, a bedside table light, yes that's it, for Christmas, because I had a book reading light that was LED and incredibly bright, so if I wanted to read at night, it would kind of annoy her because it was crazy bright, and then I got this, but it also had a crazy bright LED bulb in it, and now I have this bulb. 
Behold. Ah, feel the warm glow. I love these bulbs so much. You can even see the little filaments vibrating. I don't know if they're supposed to do that, but every one I've ever bought seems to do that. Anyway, those were quite cheap online, so I got some. It said it was A++ energy rating, which I really doubt, because it's not energy saving or LED, but whatever. It looks cool. It even keeps you warm. Yeah, if it's giving off heat, it's probably not the most energy efficient. And I like this. Don't you love these industrial type of lamps? They're great. The bulb in Maddie's bedside light went. And I said, oh, I'll change the bulb and I'll film it. And then Maddie said, don't do that because that's the most boring thing in the world. And she's right, sometimes I forget. I'm so used to filming so much of what I do in the day that I sometimes forget what's interesting and what is just really dull. Not this though. This is exciting stuff. That bulb, not so much, but this one's great. Maddie's family are coming up slash down up from Cornwall down from London at the weekend for her birthday. And I was thinking we don't have any flowers. We also don't have any bread. And these are things I like to buy when they're reduced in Tesco. So I think I might go to Tesco and scout out because at this time of day, they have everything reduced like 80, 90% off. So you get like 10p loaf of bread, 30p flowers. And they last the same amount of time as normal bread and flowers, pretty much maybe one day less for like super cheap. So that's my top tip for you. Um, and I'm gonna go to Tesco and see what's what. And I will report back if I find anything. Alas, friends, nothing in Tesco. Just have to try again tomorrow, eh? All is not lost, however. Because look at this. Brownie plus yogurt. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Right, that brownie was incredible. If any of you haven't seen Maddie's video, go and watch it. Go and get the recipe and go and make the brownies because they are insane. I'm like, no, I'm going to bed. I'm sure Maddie will be in in a minute. She's on her phone in the next room. I'll see you. When will I see you? Probably after the weekend. Are we filming at the weekend for Maddie's birthday? And yeah, we'll be back for our regular routine back on Monday. I'll see you then.